Till now we have calculated the Fourier transform of DC value and impulse signal and in this presentation we will calculate the Fourier transform of exponential signals. I will calculate the Fourier transform of three different types of exponential signals. So let's start with the first type. In this the exponential signal is equal to e power minus at ut where a is greater than 0 or positive. The calculation of Fourier transform is very easy. Let's assume the time domain signal e power minus at ut is having the Fourier transform equal to x omega. So we are required to calculate x omega and we will use the formula of Fourier transform x omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity xt multiplied to e power minus g omega t dt here xt is equal to e power minus at ut so we will have integration minus infinity to infinity e power minus at ut multiplied to e power minus g omega t dt and we know ut is equal to 1 from 0 to infinity and it is equal to 0 from minus infinity to 0. So we can write integration as 0 to infinity e power minus at ut will become 1 then we have e power minus j omega t dt. Now I will combine the two exponentials and after that we have integration 0 to infinity e power minus a plus j omega t dt and from here we will get the result of integration equal to e power minus a plus j omega t over minus a plus j omega and don't forget the upper and lower limits of integration 0 and infinity. Now in the next step we will put upper and lower limits of integration. I can write this as minus 1 over a plus j omega when you put infinity in place of t you will have e power minus infinity minus put 0 in place of t you will have e power 0 and we know e power minus infinity is equal to 1 over e power infinity e power infinity will be infinity because e is greater than 1 and 1 over infinity is equal to 0. So from here we are getting 0 and e power 0 is equal to 1. So from here we are getting 0 minus 1 that is minus 1. So when minus 1 is multiplied to minus 1 over a plus j omega this negative sign will become positive. So finally we are having the Fourier transform equal to 1 over a plus j omega. So this is the Fourier transform of e power minus at ut when at is positive. So I will write the final result so that you can make a note of it. e power minus at ut is having the Fourier transform equal to 1 over a plus j omega when a is positive. So remember this result, we will use it while deriving the Fourier transform of signum function. Now we will move to our second exponential signal and the second exponential signal is equal to is equal to e power a t multiplied to u minus t when a is positive. We will follow the same steps we will calculate the Fourier transform using this formula integration minus infinity to infinity xt is equal to e power at u minus t and it is multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and we know u minus t is obtained after performing the time reversal of ut so it will be equal to 0 from 0 to infinity and it is equal to 1 from minus infinity to 0 so we can write our integration as minus infinity to 0 e power at multiplied to 1 as u minus t is 1 e power minus j omega t dt. Again I will combine the two exponentials. So we have integration minus infinity to 0 e power a minus 
j omega t dt and from here we will get the result of integration equal to e power a minus j omega t divided by a minus j omega the lower limit of integration is equal to minus infinity and the upper limit of integration is zero now in the next step we will put upper and lower limits of integration in this way we will have e power zero minus e power minus infinity from here we will have one and from here we will have zero so one is multiplied to one over a minus j omega so we have one over a minus j omega as the value of Fourier transform so the time domain signal e power a t u minus t is having the Fourier transform equal to one over a minus j omega where a is positive so this is the result you have to remember it and now we will move to the next type of exponential signal which is the third type and in this case we are having e power minus a modulus t where a is positive we will follow the same steps to obtain the Fourier transform it is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity e power minus a mod t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt and we know mod t will be equal to minus t from minus infinity to zero and it will be equal to t from zero to infinity so we can break our integration into two different integrals first we will have integration minus infinity to zero and we will have e power minus a minus t or we can simply write e power a t so we have e power a t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt after this if we consider the range of integration 0 to infinity we will have e power minus a t multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt now if you look at the second case you will find we are having the integration minus infinity to zero the range of integration is same and we are having e power at multiplied to e power minus j omega t dt we are having the same thing here and in this scenario we got the Fourier transform equal to one over a minus j omega and if you look at this integration you will find it is similar to this one and in that case we got the Fourier transform equal to one over a plus j omega so we have a plus j omega plus a minus j omega over a square minus j square omega square j omega and minus j omega will cancel out so we have 2a in the numerator and in the denominator we will have a square plus omega square because j square is equal to minus 1 so we are getting the Fourier transform equal to 2a over a square plus omega square so when the time domain signal is equal to e power minus a mod t e power minus a mod t then the Fourier transform will be equal to 2a divided by a square plus omega square where a is positive so this is all for this lecture. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.